You're watching the 2024 SCAC Fall Media Days. Today, we're taking a dive into the Shrine University men's soccer program. The Mountaineers will once again be led as they head into the season under the guidance of head coach Darren Bauer, along with leadership from sophomore forward Bodie Miller. Coach Bodie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Coach, we'll open things up with you heading into year three as the head men's uh, soccer coach there at Shriner. I know we talked in the past a lot about kind of the whirlwind of, of getting there on campus and learning this group and kind of getting your feet uh, underneath you and building that as a culture. And now, uh, you know, heading into this third year, what are you most excited about with this group? How excited are you to just be back at the start of a new season? And, and what uh, are you looking forward to most as we get ready to, to open up this campaign? Yeah, you know, year three is exciting for us. Um, we have a lot of young guys that we brought in that, you know, I think we're most excited about is the fact that we are so young, um, bringing guys in that play our style and, and implementing the way that we want to play. And they've all kind of bought into it. And I think that's what we're excited to see over the next two, three years with this group of how they can imp implement what we want. Bodie, you're coming off an outstanding rookie campaign uh, named all SEAC freshman team. Just a remarkable season. Third on the team in points, two goals, two assists. How much did you know that experience getting thrown into the mix of college soccer right out, out of the gate, you know, help build your confidence coming into to this year's sophomore season? And what have you continued to work on individually to grow your game coming into 2024? Yeah, you know, I think I was ready for it. I was ready for the step up from high school. And I think Every day I'm just trying to get better and I'm just excited for what's to come. Coach, you talk about bringing in a big new group of guys, second straight year, you've brought in a, a big class, but you returned some experience as well. I think uh, five athletes that started 10 or more games, six that had eight or more starts on the season. And when you blend that, you know, with uh, this big new group of incoming, uh, you know, incoming class, you know, you mentioned those phases kind of where are you at expand on that a little bit uh, how do you kind of blend this new group with the guys that have bought in uh, you know in the previous years how do you sort of see those two gelling together and kind of getting rowing in that same direction yeah you know talking about those phases but we kind of feel like we're kind of in the middle of it, kind of phase three so to speak um you know bringing those two big classes that kind of play more the way that we want our style that we believe uh we want to see in this program um, but like you said, we have to have those guys that are older that have the experience to kind of bring those guys along to that know what the college game is about a little bit more, know how much grit it takes, um, know that sometimes, you know, even though we do have a style, sometimes that goes out the window. Um, so, yeah, that that mix right now, we feel like we're kind of in the middle of where we believe this program that we want it to be headed. Um, and like I said before, we're excited just to blend those two groups together. Bodie, you know, we talked about the experience that you gained uh, from last year as a freshman, and I'm sure coming in, you were just focused on trying to be the best soccer player you could be and, and you know, like a sponge, taking everything in in your first year at, at the college level. How have you seen your role change, uh, you know, through the course of last season, going into spring ball, and of course now, obviously coming back for your sophomore year, do you feel like you've kind of uh, shouldered a little bit more of a leadership responsibility coming into this season, and how have you kind of embraced that maybe new role and, and change coming into to your sophomore year with that mentality? Um, well, I think I saw an opportunity with a, a young team, and I think naturally I am just a natural leader, no matter what position I am in, and so I feel comfortable helping others, and that's just, I know I'm good at that, so. Coach, you talk about that style of play, you know, for the supporters of Schreiner men's soccer out there, what are some things um, you know, that regardless of the result that you think they can really count on throughout the course of the season, whether it's uh, the mentality, the type of play, the attacking, the defending, what are things that you hope, you know, are real consistent uh, with this group going into the season that will ultimately help the, you know, success play out throughout the course of the year? Yeah, you know, the supporters I, and coaches and other teams as well, I think they've all kind of learned that we are, we're going to be a possession-based team. That's going to be our style. We're going to try to do it out of the back. Um, but I, I think we need to, Something more consistent this year that I think they're going to see a lot of is the fact that our mentality defensively is going to be a lot stronger. Finally, Brody, as we uh, wrap things up with you, you know, as you've had conversations with some of the other teammates, some of the leaders uh, on this team I know, heading into the season about some of the goals and expectations, what have those conversations looked like? And, and ultimately, what's going to be key to accomplishing those heading into the year? I think a lot of people, their heads are looking, their plan is to make every season better. That's what their goal is. And I think that's what we have tried to implement. 
And I think that's what uh, we should do. And finally, coach, wrapping up with you, you know, success in our in our arena can be measured in, in so many different ways, a ton of different metrics. But when you talk about success with your men, with your program, what is that message that you try and deliver? And ultimately this season, it looks successful uh, if what plays out over the course of 2024. Yeah, you know, it's kind of building what Bodie just said is, you know, we we want to keep taking steps forward. We know that it's a long road to success of where we want to be. Um, and so taking little wins every single season, um, I think we've done that, but also off the field with our, you know, making sure our GPA is in the correct, uh, you know, kind of where we want it to be. And then community service, fundraising, things like that. You know, it's not just about what we do on the field. We want to make sure that these guys understand that a program being a part of something is not just about the product that everybody sees. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. For University head men's soccer coach. Darren Bauer, along with leadership from sophomore forward Bodie Miller. The Mountaineers open up the 2024 campaign when they take on Texas A&M San Antonio on August 30th. Coach Bodie, thanks so much for your time today. Best of luck as you head into the year. Thank you. Thank you.